Hi, my name is Eric Chang. I'm at Florida Atlantic University in Boca Raton, Florida, the starting point for the second edition of Around the World in 80 Hours. The goal this year is to stop in 11 cities and 6 countries on our around the world trip in 80 hours. And as we travel, we'll discuss the economic concepts encountered along the way. Our first flight takes us to New York. Many airlines have merged to form bigger airlines such as Delta, allowing for greater economies of scale and more market power. From New York, we take off on British Airways for a 7 hour flight over the Atlantic Ocean, covering 3,500 miles, arriving in London the next morning. Welcome to London's Jones on 5. The local time here is approximately 25 to 8 in the morning. London is home to the world's largest foreign exchange market. Since last year, the US dollar has appreciated against many currencies, which means we'll be getting more money for each dollar. We proceed onward, flying 3 hours and 1100 miles to the British overseas territory of Gibraltar, off the coast of Spain. Gibraltar has so little land that its airport runway crosses right through the middle of the city. In fact, cars and pedestrians need to wait each time a plane lands or takes off. Gibraltar is famous for the rock, which towers above the city. For about $20, we can take the cable car or we can make the hour-long hike up. Before we decide, let's stop in this hotel to see if they'll let me change clothes. Because it's such a beautiful day, we'll hike. You can see the top of the hill now, almost there. Well, cable car or no cable car, we made it to the top. It's the same view for everyone. We're at the top of the rock of Gibraltar, and at this point, we're only 14 miles from the coast of Africa. I can see why people like coming to Gibraltar. It's absolutely spectacular over here. This is a great place to do business. Corporate tax is 10%. There's no capital gains or sales tax. And it's also just a beautiful place to be. Let's keep going. It's time to head down the rock, down this very steep shortcut. On the way, we're greeted by some friendly locals, the Barbary macaques, which roam freely in Gibraltar. The protection of these beautiful animals is a public good paid for by taxpayer funds. After our five-hour stay, we're on a bus for a two-hour ride to Malaga, Spain, where we catch a short one-hour flight to Frankfurt, Germany, and then continue on a 12-hour, 6,000-mile flight to Tokyo, Japan, arriving the next day. Welcome to Tokyo. Please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until we're We've made it to Tokyo, and we're heading to Keio University, where I've been invited to give a guest lecture. The opportunity to present and share ideas with students and professors around the world is one way in which countries develop human capital, an important factor of production. That effective learning can only take place in a live classroom. After our lecture, we visit Akihabara, which is the largest market concentration of video arcades and anime shops in the world. After a shower and a few hours of sleep in a local hotel, we take the train back to the airport and take off on Korean Air, flying two hours and covering 800 miles, landing in Seoul, South Korea. We made it to the Gangnam district in Seoul. Gangnam was made famous by the song Gangnam Style, which became the first music video to reach a billion YouTube views in 2012, a great example of a network effect. There's even a public stage for anyone to practice their dance moves. Because my rendition of Gangnam Style might create an external cost to the locals, I forgo the opportunity and instead visit the subway featured in the music video. After our five-hour stay in Seoul, we're back to the airport where we board Singapore Airlines for an 11-hour flight covering 5,600 miles and crossing the international date line, arriving in San Francisco the same day. Welcome to San Francisco, ladies and gentlemen. The local time is 11.50 in the morning. Sunday. We are 72 hours into our journey, and we have two more flights to get back to Florida and our starting point at FAU.
excited. We're back at our starting point here at Florida Atlantic University. We went 79 hours and 50 minutes when we started this journey. We went 22,000 miles all around the world, witnessing economic concepts everywhere we went. Thank you again for joining me on this adventure, and I'll see you again next year.